Hey, so today I'm going to do a video about what modesty is not. Now, I wanted to make this video um, because there are at least two of the people that I know that have struggled with this exact issue. And this is an issue that I myself have struggled with maybe for the last two years. And basically, just to give you a bit of a background to my story. So before I was a Christian, I used to dress very immodestly. And then when I became a Christian, I sort of had to work out what modesty was. Now, this was an amazing opportunity for the devil to start speaking to me and start condemning me and start basically using my love for God and my fear of God to distort what modesty actually was and to put me in bondage. So basically, I ended up believing the lie that in order for me to be modest, I had to make myself as unattractive as is physically possible. Because I understood that I was a relatively attractive woman. Therefore, you know, obviously I don't want brothers to stumble. Obviously, I don't want men to lust after me. Obviously, I don't want to look immodest. And the devil really used this and made me think that unless I was literally in the worst possible state that I could actually look, I was not modest. And he would condemn me as I looked in the mirror. I would feel very uncomfortable um, in the way that I dressed. I would wear massive, massive baggy hoodies, as in like, I am a size English, in English size, I am, well, yeah, I am a size six to eight in the UK. Um, I don't know what that is in American. I know that many people watch me from America, but Basically, I'm a size six to eight in the UK. I would wear like size 22 hoodies. Well, one, a massive size 22 hoodie when I lived in China. And I would just walk around in that because that is where I felt the most, that is what I felt most comfortable in. Because I thought there is no risk whatsoever that I can be immodest if I'm dressed in this way. There is no risk. And that to me um, was satisfaction like satisfactory because I thought as long as there's no risk of being immodest it doesn't really matter if I go the other way and I look completely ridiculous because my love and my fear for God what was you know was of that standard but actually Jesus comes to give us to give us freedom he doesn't come to put us in bondage he doesn't come so that you know we walk around in burkas and we only show this much of our face and like he doesn't come that we have to hide under a rock and that if we are made in an attractive way we have to somehow distort our image in order to you know in order to make sure that you know there's somebody that that won't stumble that's not what Jesus wants for us he wants us to feel beautiful because he created us in a beautiful way. And so if you are an attractive woman, you do not have to try and make yourself physically unattractive so that you are repulsive to men. That is like a condemning spirit. It's like a, a spirit to put you in bondage. Um, and actually, you know, even when I was doing as much as is physically possible to sort of repel men, um, you know, God actually showed me very recently that it actually doesn't matter uh, what I do sometimes. There will still be some men that look. There will still be some men that lust. There will still be some men that say inappropriate things to me. Because basically I would feel so uncomfortable leaving the house because men would look at me. And so I try to dress down as much as is physically possible to be like physically repulsive to other people. And I've done it on YouTube as well. I would make videos as I literally just got out of bed, just in case somebody, you know, would stumble over me and stuff. So I would, I would, you know, I would try and make myself invisible as much as is physically possible. And what God showed me because basically at the time I would walk down the street if I, I if I knew I looked 
quite nice and I walked down the street and a man looked at me and stared at me, that the enemy would come and attack me and would be like, you're a woman of God. How do you think it's appropriate for you to dress this way? Look, men are staring at you. Look, 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 you're making men stumble and stuff. And what God showed me quite recently is that it is not my problem because some men, no matter how you, how much you dress down, some men can't help themselves. There was one time my screen broke, my phone screen broke, and I had to go and get it fixed. And I went to the shop and I was in a baggy hoodie, I was in jeans and I was in trainers. I had no makeup on and my hair was up. The guy still said to me, you, oh, you have a really pretty face. Oh, when are you inviting me to dinner? Even though the first thing I said to him was something about my husband. So he knew that I was a married woman. Yeah. So he still tried to invite himself over to my house. He still tried to flirt with me. And you know what? God showed me that that is not my problem. I do not have to dress down as much as is physically possible just in case somebody somewhere will look at me and still find me attractive. That is not my problem, it is not my prerogative. And I just wanted to share this with you because you might be a woman that feels this way. And I know two other women that have struggled in this area that as soon as they, you know, maybe do something to their hair or do anything at all, the enemy comes to attack them like nothing else and basically wants to put them in bondage, wants to make them as unattractive as is physically possible and, you know, basically makes them feel guilty if they want to even do the slightest thing to to look remotely attractive. So, they, you know, even if it's like, even if they don't look immodest whatsoever, the enemy will try and put them into bondage and say, this is not appropriate and, you know, stuff like that. So you really have to listen to the Holy Spirit and you really have to pray about this area. And, you know, I felt in my spirit that there was something very wrong with my appearance. I felt it. I really did. Um, and God basically showed me that the enemy had used my fear and love for God to um, trick me and put me into bondage and basically make me look like an idiot when I walked down the street and, you know, when I presented myself. And that is very embarrassing. That is very shameful. But at the end of the day, I wanted to share that with you because I want you to know that there is a condemning spirit that will use uh, your love for God and take it too far, way beyond what Jesus actually wants from you. Maybe, you know, there are seasons where maybe God will say to you, stop wearing makeup, stop doing this, stop doing that, because he wants to strip you back because maybe your heart is not right at all in that area, you know? But if you're not doing things from a heart that comes from wanting to attract attention and wanting to seduce men, then that is very, is very different. If your heart is, I'm wearing this because I want to seduce that guy, then yes, God, God will convict you. But if you're wearing something because, you know, you, you have no interest in seducing anybody, this is just, you know, what you feel comfortable in, and the enemy is telling you, you know, you have to like dress head to toe and like the, the baggiest thing, you, you know, that you've got and, you know, walk around with without showering and stuff, uh, just, you know, to try and physically um, make yourself as physically repulsive as, as is possible. And that is something different. So with modesty, you have to be very careful because the enemy can use your your purity towards God to condemn you and to twist things and to get you under his thumb and to put you down. And obviously when you're walking around that, you're gonna have, walking around like that, you're gonna have no confidence. You're gonna, you know, it's, it's bondage, but Jesus comes to set us free. So whilst we do have to be modest, we don't have to um, put ourselves in bondage. Because if you look at religion, some religions put their women in bondage in terms of they have to wear stuff from head to toe. You can only see their eyes, etc., etc. We are not in religion. Okay, Jesus came to set us free and we are able to feel comfortable. We are able to feel beautiful in the way that, you know, 
because we've been created beautiful. We don't need to hide under a rock. We don't need to cover our face. We don't need to, um, you know, distort our image in order to be holy. 